Hi, my name is Sanjeev Shah, and I'm a heart failure cardiologist, and I'm also director of research for our Bloom Cardiovascular Institute. Now, we know that HFPEF is extremely common, but it's underdiagnosed. There are probably about 4 million people in the United States that have this syndrome, and yet many of them don't know that they have it, and their doctors don't know that they have it. And that's because even though the symptoms are really brought out by exercise, really what happens is all the testing is done at rest, and so we don't diagnose it. Here at the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute, we do exercise testing routinely with echocardiography or right heart catheterization, so we can really make the diagnosis. Often we're doing cardiopulmonary exercise testing as well. I'm also really excited this year at ACC because there are two major clinical trials. The first is a trial that we did. It's called step hefpef dm and it's semaglutide. It's a GLP-1 receptor agonist that many people know as Ozempic and it causes profound weight loss. And given the fact that obesity is a major driver of the HEFPEF syndrome, we tested it first in people who had obesity-related HEFPEF without diabetes in the STEP HEFPEF trial, which we published in the New England Journal of Medicine last year. And now the sister trial, STEP HEFPEF DM. Similar trial, but now with patients with HEFPEF, obesity, and diabetes. And then finally, there's a trial, the RELIEVE HF trial. This is an intraatrial shunt device called the V-Wave device, and it's a major trial in heart failure patients, both with preserved and reduced ejection fraction. At the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute, we have one of the largest, if not the largest, HEFPEF program in the United States. We were the first to start one globally in 2007, and our patients are really in need of new therapies. Even though we have SGLT2 inhibitors and now we have GLP-1 receptor agonists, we still need more therapies. Physicians really need to know how to diagnose HEFPEF and understanding the use of exercise testing and how we can one, diagnose patients and also phenotype patients into what type of HEFPEF they have. HEFPEF is heterogeneous. All of these things are related and critical for the proper diagnosis and management of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction.